What's up, YouTube? Sorry for the wait for the My Gifted Guidance. Um, I've been holding off just so I can get at least 30 plus pictures in the email. Um, just because I want to drop a Gifted Guidance and then the following week drop another one because I've been real, real behind doing um, other things with work, the challenges. So that kind of got in the way of everything. But um, I'm back. I'm back on schedule. Let's start doing the My Gifted Guidance. If you are interested in sending in your pictures, you can do so at mattgiftedhands at gmail.com. All right? Hey, my sister-in-law is in the building. So I'm going I'm to wait till everyone, you know, gets in the, in the room, and then we'll go ahead and start the uh, My Gifted Guidance, episode nine. <clears throat> I'll probably do about 15 to 20 pictures today, but I want to get everyone in. And just for a, a side note, I do still have a lot of Team Gifted shirts still available for sale. comes with a free Team Gifted bracelet. Um, if you want to check them out, go check it out on my Instagram, Matt Gifted Hands. And I took a picture with myself wearing the t-shirt, so um, go check those out. And if you are interested, hit me up on Instagram. Um, your shirt size, your your address, your full name. Hey, baby. <laughs> your full name and um. And uh, did I say your size of shirt? Size of shirt, full name, address. Oh, and your email. That way, I can send you a PayPal request, an invoice, um, for the shirt. What up? But I'll uh, I'll wait till you know I get some a few more people in the chat room in the live stream and then we'll go ahead and start the uh, my gift guidance. I do. I saw like it was Snapchat. I was like, ooh. Shout out to wifey in the background. We're gonna get rid of all that stuff. She's the one. You know, we're the originators of the wifey cut challenge. My uh, my daughter's sitter just got here. I'm a sitter. Thank you. Like, I'm not a friend. What do you want me to say? Seriously. <laughs> my daughter's sitter. I said, my stranger. friend. I want to sound sophisticated. My... I was like, hi, friend. You're like, oh, All right. it's our daughter's my sitter. My daughter's nanny. Is that better? Friend. Family friend. <laughs> okay. Sister, baby sister. Hey, I should get paid more from a nanny. <laughs> <laughs> this is Loco sister, y'all. Chris Loco sister. She, she watches my daughter all the time. <laughs> but oh, I'm going to wait to get some more people in the room, and then we'll go ahead and start. <clears throat> How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing good. Comment below if you are ready to start the My Gift of Guidance. I just got out of the shower, y'all, so my hair slicked back. It's super long. Being able to work and be with family is awesome. I'm, I'm a baby. I'm a baby. Go get a bandage. Comment get a below. Bandage. Let me know when y'all are ready so I can oh, yeah. start the my get the guidance. Okay, go get the band-aids. You know where they are. Okay. I want a band-aid. Go get a band-aid. You must not want that bad. I did it. You did it? High five. High five. Right. Yeah. Okay, y'all ready? Yeah. Let's start. All right, cool. All right, so this is the first picture I have. Let me see if I can lower the brightness. Hang on, I gotta help mommy, okay? You want to <clears throat> All right, here we go. Right off the back, uh, I can't tell what kind of style this is on top. It looks like it's combed over to the right side, so it might be a comb over. The fade looks good. I like the contrast from light, medium to dark looks really good. Um, one thing that I could point out would be the edge. It looks like it's kind of slanting this way. And if he's light in the bottom area, if you just kind of nick this dark area right here and lined up the top, you'd give the illusion that he has a full straight edge. Um, it's it's a little, you know, bumpy right here in this, in this line area. So I would just sharpen that up. But the fade, the fade looks sick. Uh, it, you know, it's a really good blend. And it looks like you're cutting in a room. So, I would just say repetition from here on out. 
Um, it doesn't look like he did anything with the beard. But, yeah, just be careful around the edge area right here. The blend looks good. Um, but like I said, it looks like a comb over. So. Okay. What's up, everybody? What's up? Okay. Come over here. Come on. Next picture. Come over here. Come over here. All right. So. Again, if y'all are wanting to put y'all's Instagram handle, Snapchat, anything that y'all want um, on your pictures, go ahead and do it. And um, whenever you submit your photos. Um, this looks probably like a one and a half on top because it's pretty dark. And then I would say a shadow fade. The reason being a shadow fade is because you can still see, you know, some line work. But um, the blend looks good. And you're going to get, a, you know, these dark spots with this type of texture of hair. So what what you could do is brush the hair down and then do like some sheer over comb or clipper over comb work just to remove these dark spots. Also, you can use a corner of your blade and just remove these dark spots and you will see like a smooth transition. But with this hair texture, it is pretty tricky. Um, the fade looks dope. I would say the line work needs a little more help um, as far as making this, you know, like a smooth, consistent line all the way through. It looks like it kind of cuts off right here, gonna dips down, and then it goes into the the sideburn. Um, right here in the edge area, brighten this up. Right here on the edge area, see how it's kind of rounded. I know you're probably you know nervous to push the client back, but you can still make that sharp, and it would be like a nice ninety degree cut right here. Um, and then. Just for Instagram and for sending in your photos, knock the hair off and then take the picture because, you know, all this right here can be brushed off or with a neck duster and then take the photo. But other than that, it's a dope cut. Just, you know, utilize the corners in this area for dark spots and then sharpen that up a little bit. But good job. Good job. It said you're a 14 year old barber. <laughs> Sky's the limit, man. Sky is the limit. Keep going. Keep getting those reps in. All right, nephew's cut, barber goes. Um, right off the back, man, I can't really get my full feet. Oh, there we go. Let me see. Just because of that camera flash, it kind of throws it off. Um, and it kind of gives the illusion that it's like a real blurry, blurry fade. Um, because when I lower the contrast, you can, you know, you can see some lines in there, some bulk. Um, it looks like you have a great foundation. Um, but if I can get a picture without the flash, you see, like there's a little bit of a dark line right here. Um, it looks like you just went from bald and you didn't give yourself room to blend, meaning you didn't spread your guidelines. So if you did bald and then you would have like a half, you know, guideline in this area and then a one and then into the top. Um, yeah. This flash kind of throws it off, but I can see some some lines in there when I lower the contrast. But you know, you see how it goes. There's a bit bit of a bulk right here in this area, and a little bit of a line right here. I would just say give yourself more room to blend. So I can see this is real bald on the bottom, right? So what I would do is I will lower your bald guideline just a little lower. Then put your half, and then your one, your two, and then so forth, right? Um, just to spread the blend and give it a little bit more contrast. You don't want it to go from bald to dark and then it looks like, you know, like a, a bowl cut or a compressed haircut. You don't want that. All right, this one shot up to Instagram. All right, so right off the back, it's a little bit of a, a bulkiness right here in this area. And where the hair combs over, Right here, you can use thinning shears. You can use clipper over comb. You could even use a foreguard to knock this bulk off, and it'll blend nicely into the sides. Um, and then also with this side right here, you see there's a little bit of hair sticking out, and this hair sticking out as well. I would clipper over comb that. Um, make sure this is all cleaned up. Make sure you, you want to make sure if the hair is going to stick up like that, try not to cut too much. You want to cut it the way the hair falls in place. Um, that way you don't have these hairs stick out because in, you, one, you're going to end up having this or two, you're going to end up cutting them. And as they grow back, they're still going to look like that. So be careful, pay attention to the hair pattern, which, which way the hair falls and then cut it like that. 
Another thing that I like to do is in the back area around here, um, I would take like a high guard and go with the grain and cut downwards and see if that helps out. Because also right here on this side, you'll get this right here sticking out. And look at the haircut from different angles. You know, get on the side of the client, behind the client, and see these hairs sticking out. You can do clipper over comb or use uh, a higher guard to remove that. All right. Um, the fade, it looks like you went for a, a low drop fade. And even though you have, even though you do a low fade, yeah, you see right here it says drop skin fade, comb over. Um, if Even if you do a drop fade, you can still give yourself a little more room to blend and it won't look too compressed but for you but for doing a drop fade this is this is pretty dope man this is a really good job it, it just needs a little bit of work i would say repetitions and you know maybe giving yourself a little more room to blend as far as giving your guideline at least an inch all right that way it doesn't look so compressed but nowadays i can't you know I can't really say too much about these fades because a lot of clients like them like this they like that whole light to quick darkness you know um, it's just, you can do a, a drop fade, give yourself room to blend and give the illusion that it's a drop fade still. Right. But other than that, dope haircut, dope haircut. Just, um, you know, work on this area right here in the bulk, um, behind the head. And then I would just raise this just a tad bit, this darkness right here, maybe like a one and a half, two guard. Oh, Dizzle Cuts. He actually won on the um, the giveaway, if I'm not mistaken. I think he won a shirt or a shave gel. I can't remember. All right. So, man, right off the back. This right here, barbers. Student barbers. Those are trying to learn how to cut hair. Licensed barbers. Be aware for these, <laughs> these things right here. These skin tags. Um most likely the client is going to let you know right off the back when they sit in the chair, hey, I have this skin tag right here. Be careful. Don't cut it off because it's happened before. Um, it looks like you went around it. It looks like, you know, you didn't open it or cut into it because these can get snagged on your clippers. So be careful with that. All right, so let's jump right into the haircut. Um, I like the C cup area right here. You kept it dark, you know, that way you can have that nice crispy edge. It looks like you kept the front natural. Um, if you did line it up, I would just make it crispier like this right here and use a razor to give it a nice shape. Um, I'm not sure if you did the beard or not, but I won't, I'm just gonna critique the, uh, give my feedback on the, the fade. All right, so to me, this could be considered like maybe like a low fade, maybe even a low mid, just because his first guy line on the bottom is bald and, and it's pretty low, right? And then it goes into medium medium dark and then dark and this is what i'm talking about contrast y'all like you can see the contrast go from light medium to, to dark why because he spread his blend i like it there's a little bit of dark spots like right here in this area and around the occipital bone it can be a little difficult to uh blend that area but you might find yourself using a lower guard to remove this darkness and to give the illusion that's the even fade all the way around um these dark spots right here corner of your blades corner of your guards uh maybe a two guard one and a half guard open and using the corners and you could blend that out even i've also seen uh using uh shears with uh, you know shear of a comb we remove that as well but other than that dope cut looks like you styled it as well it's a dope cut man Keep getting the reps in. Keep getting the reps in. All right. This is a dope cut. Now, would you consider this a low fade or a mid fade? To me, I would consider it a low fade because his first guy line is low. And then he put like a half and then a one and then a two and then two or three. There's a little bit of bulk up top right here. I would just comb that down. Make sure it's not bulk and it's just like a messy look. And if it is a messy look, cool. But I would just comb that in, maybe use some thinning shears, and then remove this, this bulk area. But this blend is is dope. This is dope. You can I can definitely tell, you know, you, you use a lot of the corners. You give yourself room to blend. You spread your blend. This is dope. This is a dope cut. C cup is real nice and crisp. Edge is on point. 
And, bro, these edges are hard to do. I can tell he just kept constantly brushing, brushing, combing, combing to knock those little hairs to make it straight and finally get a, you know, a nice, clean edge. Because this type of hair texture like that will keep falling and falling and falling. You have to keep constantly edging it up. But this is a dope cut, man. Good job, Jason. Good job. He sent in another picture. Jason Bonilla. Another dope cut. Nice, clean taper fade. Nice, dark neckline. Nice beard line in the back. This can be a little more crispier. I don't know if you use the, the razor or not, but... I would, you know, get on the side of the client and go this way into the beard with the razor to, you know, get that a more detailed line. The taper fade, clean, nice bald. You could, I could definitely tell you use the, you know, the anise shaver or maybe even a razor in that area to bald it out. It's a dope cut, man. Definitely, you know, I could definitely tell you, you know what you're doing. But I'm glad that you're sending in the photos and you still, you know, feel like you have room to grow, which everyone should have room to grow. I don't care how long you've been cutting here. You still gotta have you still gotta have an open mind to learn to learn something new because nowadays everything coming out it, it's like a new style every day. It's like a new hair hair um trend every day. So you always gotta have an open mind. I don't care how long you've been cutting here. Alright, so right here this is a difficult haircut to do without without doing a taper and leaving like a straight line or like a bulk without a blend this is a nice blend into hair like this this is a dope taper because you don't you see a smooth transition you don't see a taper and then long hair on top like as if if he just you know took a guard straight up here and then did a taper and i've seen that done but this is a dope dope transition into the top and these haircuts are these haircuts are you know in right now so i think you definitely need to learn how to you know taper with this type of texture on top that's a dope cut edges on point it could be a little more crispier that's me being picky all right me being picky but it's a dope cut man dope cut nice c cup nice transition with the taper nice neckline dope cut man dope cut andrew Definitely see uh, progress. All right, so right here you have a, I would say maybe a four on top with a ball taper. Um, it looks like he did a low ball taper. Um, C cup could have been a little more crispier. The edge could have been a little more crispier. It looks like you push him back. It looks like you push him back right here in this corner. Can I leave the garage open? What I would do is line this up right here, right? And then line just a top piece because this right here, if you would have left that hair there, it would have gave the illusion that it's a full edge, right? Right here in this area. It, it looks like that. I may be wrong. If he's light in that area, line this top piece up right here and give the illusion that it has a full edge. And you might have to bring the C cup up just a tad bit more to uh, make it, you know, nice and sharp. Um, Aaliyah, come here, baby. The uh, neckline on the back, I would just, you know, crispy that up a little more, line that up, use a razor as well. Um, other than that, the taper on the sides, it, you know, is dope. It it went from a ball to a half to a one and then to the top. And normally you would see, like, if he took a guard around this area, which I don't see, it looks like a smooth transition. There's a little bit of like a dark spot right here. It may be just a type of texture of hair that he has because you can see right here, you know? But other than that, dope haircut, man. Repetition, repetition, that was Axel. Let's see the same picture. Jacob Clips, 15 year old barber. Yo, progress, man. Progress, look at that. I remember your first haircut you sent me. This is what I love to see, y'all. Thank you so much for, you know, keep submitting your photos. I definitely see the progress. But this is what I like to see. This is a dope blend, man. Nice, crisp edge. It looks like you're cutting in the crib, too. And obviously, it's a disconnected haircut, so I can't say anything about this. 
You know, nowadays they're rocking, rocking the man buns. They're rocking this curly top with the disconnected haircut, with the disconnected fade. I can't say nothing wrong about this cut, man. Clean. Good job. Good job, man. Definitely see the progress. Keep sending in your photos. Uh, don't know what that is. Jorge Sanchez. Okay. Look at that blurry taper. I, hey, there's a little bit of enhancements in there. Am I wrong? There's a little bit of enhancements, which I'm not knocking because, bro, everyone's doing it. And look, this can also be an exception. An exception for those that are light in this corner. You don't always have to have that nice, crispy, straight edge. Look at this. Look how he did that. Everything flows. Everything's rounded. That's dope. That's dope. I like that. Nice, clean ball taper. It looks like he did like a kind of like a low fade with maybe like a one on the sides. Blended into, I was, I don't know, this is pretty long on top. But I don't know if it's me, but I don't know. I, I don't like that high ear arc. I don't like that white wall look. And if he has that naturally like that, cool. But just for the, the gram and for a haircut to look dope, you don't always have to do the white wall look. But, like I said, if his hairline is like that naturally, cool. Which I've seen some clients. I've seen some clients up here with it because it's natural. They just don't grow on hair right there. This is dope. Dope cut, man. I like this, though. I like how you rounded everything. Nice and crispy. You killed that one, bro. You killed that one. Andrew Williams. All right. All right. It's a taper work right here. Um, Right off the back, man. With this type of curly hair texture and doing like a taper, you definitely don't want to go too high with it. Because then you'll have this. You'll have some bulk. And that's going to be hard to get that out. You're going to have to use some thinning shears, some shears, and then you're going to end up cutting into this. And then it's, uh. So I would stay low with it. Stay low with your guidelines because it looks like we're from, you know, your bald is down here, your half, and then this is all one. And then it looks like you try to, you know, keep this area dark. And then, you know, I would be careful with going too high with this type I would keep this taper low with this with this uh, type of haircut, all right? The taper in the back, you, it depends. You know, you can either go high, mid, maybe even low. But um, it looks like you kept the neckline dark. I can't really give feedback on the on the neckline but or the neck taper. The edge looks pretty good. Um, right here, you don't always have to have that crispy, sharp edge. Just like you saw in the picture before this, it was kind of rounded, right? Um... Maybe just crispy that up a little bit more. The beer line looks dope. I would blend this in just a little bit more. You know, have more transition down this way. Other than that, I would just be careful with going too high with these, these tapers on this type of hair texture. Just keep it low. Thinning shears, shear of a comb. That's all gonna that's gonna help you get that, that look that you're looking for. Or that your client is looking for. Alright, another one by Jorge Sanchez. Look, he hey. Blurry fade, man. Blurry fade. Again, might be a little enhanced, but hey, I can't knock it. Dope cut. Maybe I, I would throw some product in his hair, though. I would definitely throw some product in his hair. And it would set this picture off. I ain't got nothing to say. This right here is a dope cut because it's so... Tra it's so... The contrast is, is sick. Bald. Half. One, two, three. That's what you want right here. This is the outcome that you want to see. A lot of corner work. You can definitely tell he's using a lot of corners. <laughs> Dope cut. Dope haircut. All right. I like this. I like this. It's like a little pompadour on top. Um, it may be a dis disconnected haircut just because it's real short around this area and then real long on top. Um, the line, if he wanted it that thick, cool. I try not to do a part too, too thick. Unless you do thick, medium, and then skinny point, right? 
that's those are the part, the parts that you see on Instagram and stuff, and that's what you probably try to go for. But it looks like it's just thick all the way through. So I would start off kind of like thick, medium, and then go to like a skinny point. And don't try to do that with your trimmers. Make a a a, a rough line with your trimmers, right? One one line all the way through, and then go back with your razor, and you'd get that look. It looks like he did kind of a low fade, um, maybe like a half, because you can still see some line work. C cup looks dope. Um, the transition from the oh, the fade looks clean. There's a little bit of dark spot right here. I would take your one guard open and knock that out. But me personally, I think that line is too thick. If you wanted it that thick, again, cool. But I think that line is too thick. All right. This is uh this is a pretty pretty dope haircut. Um, right off the back, there's a little bit of bulk right here, and you know, doing like a low fade or a drop fade, you can you know sometimes you'll see this, but right here I would definitely do some sheer over comb, or some clipper over comb, maybe even like a higher guard, taking a five guard four guard in this area and knocking that bulk off. Uh, other than that, man, I the. I don't know if it's just the sun or the, the camera flash, but the transition looks dope. There's just a little bit of bulk right here. That's it. Good job. I would style the hair on top, though, then take the picture. But other than that, good job. Good job. Bro, I'm getting some nice haircut pictures in here. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. See, look, a lot of people like this look, and, like, uh, on... Uh, I'm looking on the camera right now on my phone, and you can see like a dark area right here. Um, but that's the thing though, like a lot of these clients nowadays ask for that. They like that drastic light to dark. So I, I don't know, man. I don't know. This is the look. If it would go from light to dark, this is the look that I would go go for. The C cup is dark, nice crisp line, bald on the bottom, half. It looks like he did a lot of sheer over comb, a lot of clipper over comb. So, I think this is a, a blended haircut. And, and it, it's a little dark to me, but the client, I bet you the client loved it. Because this is a dope haircut. And this is a style that's going around right now. And I I, I can't knock it. I can't knock it. Um, Maybe just a tad bit more. Had a bit more sheer over comb, thinning shears. I don't know. But I bet you that client was in love with this cut because this is a dope haircut, y'all. And it's hard to blend from bald to, to long on top without anything sticking up. That's a, that's a clean cut, man. Good job. Let me do a few more. All right. Nice little man bun. Ain't nicer than mine, but no, I'm just playing. Ball fade, probably like a one and a half in this area. You know, he threw a part in there. It looks clean. That's a dope, dope fade. Nice, nice part. Good job. You killed that one. These are the tapers that I liked, that I used to do in Texas, man. Them high tapers. And then that light, that high taper in the back with that little, we used to call it like the mushroom head, and the mushroom top, mushroom taper or whatever. But these hot bro, some clients love these tapers. And I can't knock it. That's a dope blend, man. I would add some product though to his head. And then take the picture. But dope haircut, dope taper. Dope design too on the other one. Alright. So with this type of hair texture right here, it can be difficult blending in right here in this area. And I have a video. Um, of me doing like a flat top like this, but I use a lot of clip roll comb and a lot of freehanding. If you go straight up in that area, just with the clipper and graze that hair, you can blend like that as well. But you just gotta be careful that you don't put a ball spot or gap him or put a light spot. You want that transition to be smooth. Um, so. This is a dope blend. It's just right around this area. I can definitely tell, you know, there needs to be work right here. Clip over comb. Um, and, and whenever you do the clip over comb, whenever you do the clip over comb, come out. 
So the back of the the back of the cone should be on the on the client's head. Right? When you go up, put the comb on the back of the client's head and come out. And whatever hair is sticking out of the comb whenever you bring the comb towards you, cut that. Alright? Um an edge can be a little more crispier. I I would probably sponge this though. It, it I don't think he did any freehand. If he did, then he left this front piece right here. You see this kind of like a kind of like a bump. It looks like you freehanded this area and then you left this area in the front. I would freehand that as well. Maybe sponge it. But yeah, right around this area, clear board of a comb, freehand, and that'll get rid of that bolt. Let's see, no. it's a Supreme Barbershop. All right, this is a dope cut. Um, gave himself room to blend. Went from bald, you know, to like a half to one to a two. There's a little bit of dark spots. I would just use a corner, corner of your blade, corner of your guard to uh, remove that. All right, so look, this right here can be a difficult haircut. Look, he wants that comb over <laughs> with a little low drop fade and a taper blended into long hair oh he did a good job on this one man a little bit of thinning shears maybe around this area on those dark spots but you know it's definitely hard because you don't want to go into the top so nice ball taper low ball taper on the bottom nice neckline it's a dope job man dope job De definitely i would definitely say it's a difficult haircut though a a a cuts all right so this is you know a comb over and then this is the drastic side this is what a lot of the barbers take pictures of on this side they don't like to show the other side <laughs> but probably like a two in this area low ball fade the reason why i say low ball fade is because his guy line his ball guy line is low but he just gave himself room to blend um dope cut there's a little bit of darkness right here i don't know if it's just because his hair pattern it goes from dark, light to dark, and it might be, but if you notice this, then take a little, you know, take take the guard there a little more, uh, a little more, and see if it knocks it down. If not, you might have to use a lower guard just to give the illusion that it's all even. But nice style, dope, dope style. Good job. All right, I'm gonna finish these last last few, and then we are gonna get on with it. Okay. Got a little style going on on this haircut and the picture. Brick wall. There's some more pictures. Okay, got a little model model type on here. Some more haircuts. All right, so on this one, there's some bulk right here. Clearly, you can see that bulk right there. Um, This guideline right here, go lower. Okay, start a little lower. um, And then work your way to the top. Because then you're gonna, you know, you're gonna find yourself with this compressed line, like right here. So I will start a little lower with the first guy line, and then work your way up. And if you wanted a low fade, you could still do a low fade and still keep it dark, but you know, keep your guy lines. At least with a low fade, I would do like half inch for the guy line. But this cut right here is dope. There's a little bit of darkness right here, which I know you you know you meant to do that to give a nice illusion for the uh, the part, but maybe take your one guard and just lightening that up a little bit. That way it's not too dark. You know, see there's just like a line underneath a line, but dope haircut. Nice pictures though, man. It says uh, about eight hundred. And okay, you're still in barber school. I'm kind of gonna work, but I need to improve my blending quite a bit. Please give me some insight. Yeah, definitely. You definitely got a great foundation, an amazing foundation. It's just give yourself, you know, your first guideline go a little lower with this. That way, it doesn't look like a dark line. All right, but you definitely have an eye for it. You great. You have a great foundation. It's just gonna be repetitions for you. Don't give up. Keep going in. Oh, y'all sent these pictures on the live stream, though. All right, cutting outside. I would remove this bulk right here. Maybe a four guard, four guard open. 
nice crisp line. It looks like you indented this a little bit because you can tell it's kind of like rounded, but I would be careful around the edge. The blend looks dope though. I would say like, this is like a mid high ball fade. I will say like a high ball fade. But he gave himself room to blend, so. But I would remove this bulk. If you remove this bulk right here, it'll look like a, a mid fade. But just because it has that shelf a little bit, it's gonna look like a high fade. That's a good job, good job, good job. All right, so this is a clean comb over. Definitely gave yourself room to blend. Goes from light, medium to dark. Edgeless, crisp. Styled. Got some product in his hair. That's a dope haircut. Super dope haircut. This right here, just me being picky. It might be the lighting, but if it isn't, there's a little bit of darkness in this area. Whatever you put in this area, make sure you commit right here as well. That's a dope cut, though. Y'all keep sending them. Y'all gonna have me on here till midnight. All right, so this is a wave cut right here. Will cuts. What up? What up? Will cuts. Um, wave length on top. The, looks like you put some product in it as well. This is a dope ball fade, man. I'm not even knocking nothing on this. This is a nice transition. This is a dope cut, man. Let me put some light on it. Oh, there's some light on it. Oh, this is a dope cut. I can't even knock this. I, my feedback on this is, is is amazing. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Last one, last one. All right. For you cutting outside, this is a dope air cut, y'all. And I see it probably better than you see it on the live stream, but this transition, light, medium, dark, Nice transition. It looks like he kind of pushed his head back just a little bit. Don't need it. But maybe he requires a cosmetic lineup. But you can definitely see the different two-tone around the edge area. Put some product in his head. Man, it looks like he's sweating. So it, it definitely has to be a haircut outside. Dope haircut. Dope haircut. Other than the edge, it looks like it was just a little bit cosmetic. The product in the hair looks dope. The fade, the blend, everything is dope. Good job. All right, that's it for tonight. That's it for tonight, y'all. Glad that I finally got this done, the Gifted, gifted Guidance Episode 9. Again, if you are interested in purchasing a Team Gifted shirt, hit me up on Instagram, DM me if you are interested, and I will send you a PayPal invoice. It's a, a Team Gifted shirt. It says, trust me, I'm a barber. You're in gifted hands. And on the back says, team gifted, hashtag team gifted. And here. the bracelets are black and gray. And they say, hashtag team gifted on them. All right. So if y'all are interested, hit me up on Instagram. Thanks for tuning in to the My Gifted Guidance. If you weren't on here, I will upload it. So it'll be up there for y'all to view. Um, keep sending in your pictures. Matt, gifted hands at gmail.com. And we'll do another My Gifted Guidance episode Yo. 10. All right? It's ridiculous. Team Gifted, stay gifted.